Hey guys, it's Ryan with Great Oregon Outdoors here. Hey, we're going to give you a tip on stringing a fishing pole with just some stuff you probably have lying around the garage. So I have it all sitting here, and I'm going to do it on my vise, but sometimes I do this in my living room and uh, hold this device with my feet. It's a 2x4. Yeah, pretty simple. But I've drilled a hole through it. I've put a bolt through it, and there's a washer on each side so the nuts don't sink in, and that's secure and tight. Um, I often do it like this in the garage to string new line on a pole. I put it in a vise, and you can see that okay. And I take the line and I slide it on the pole, but most important right now is this line coming over the top of the spool when you put it on the device. All right, so then you need a big flat washer, a chunk of rubber fuel line, brake line, um, maybe you have a rubber washer, something that compresses and it should be kind of soft. Uh, an O-ring, a big O-ring would work as long as it fits between washers. Slide that on there. One more washer. And then I have two nuts. I'm going to put one nut on and I'm going to snug it down until the line doesn't pull off really easy. See, it gives it some drag just like when it's on your pole. So you're just creating a drag system to slow this down so that when you're reeling new line on your pole, this doesn't spin out of control and make a huge mess. Now, once you have that tightened down where you want it, finger tight's good. I chase it with one more nut. Just tighten that nut down against the other one. It won't come off while you're reeling it onto your pole and create a big mess. So that's pretty much it. This is a simple garage fisherman's line spooler.